uproar in the streets. We sent Draconius with a cohort to quell this rebellion. What's going on? We should have dealt with this ourselves. I wonder if Pilate truly understands the gravity of the situation here in Jerusalem. His eye is on Rome and promotion. Does he know what's happening here and in Judea as a province? It's like a steaming cauldron ready to boil over. And if it does, we all get scalded. That's exactly what Caiaphas and all these zealots are hoping will happen. They're troublemakers. Yes, they are. Look at this, Nefarious. We have 28 legions scattered throughout the empire. Three in Britannia, five along the Rhine, nine stretch the length of the Danube, but only one, only one legion here in this mud pit, sinkhole of a province, Judea. Yes, it's a three-day march to Jerusalem from Syria. Yes, it is. Pilate just had our pit when he arrived. Hail, Pilate! Now, I'm looking forward to seeing you. Hail, Pilate! Welcome, Excellency. Welcome! Dare to say to me, welcome! I've already been forced to make an all-night ride from Caesarea weeping for the battle president. It seems that Caiaphas and the Zealots are now controlling the city instead of Rome. I've had two assassination attempts on my life in the past week, and you say to me, welcome! How many cohorts did I leave here in Jerusalem to keep order during the Passover? Two, sir. Where are they? Sir, we sent one into the city with Draconius to try to put down this rebellion. He's obviously devious, not being successful. What about the other one? The other we kept here to protect Antonia. Protect Antonia. The various, how many years does it take to train a legion? Five years, sir. Five years to train the most powerful fighting force the world has ever known. We can conquer Carthage, Gaul, Britannia, Spain, but the two of you cannot, with two cohorts, keep together a bunch of religious fanatics because of one Jesus of Nazareth. My horse could have done a better job. And to further exacerbate the situation and add to our embarrassment, we have a most distinguished guest in our presence. To be honest, I did not expect him next week. Lucius Aelius Sejanus. I was about to introduce you as head of the Praetorian Guard in Rome, but I'm very well aware that we had a dispatch come even this week from Rome saying that you have been levied a promotion by the Emperor. I believe it was Tuesday, Dennis, was it not? Chief Counsel to Tiberius himself. You do us a great honor. I should like to toast you by quoting Tacitus, one of our historians who recently wrote of you, the man that's close to Sejanus is a friend of the Emperor. But the Emperor's not pleased. Word of the inept handling of this situation has come back to Rome. No doubt by Caiaphas and his toadies. They've been reporting me for years. But let me reassure the divine Tiberius that by this time next year there will be no such ineptitude because the two of them are both getting demoted to galley slaves. The Lady Claudia seeks an audience. Claudia brings you here this hour of the night. Pilot. Are you holding a Galilean prisoner within these walls? <coughs> the carpenter's son called Jesus? Yes, but I assure you it's no concern of yours. But it has become my concern. How so? Tonight, I suffer greatly in a dream because of him. Pilate, he's innocent, has nothing to do with that man. A strange thing, my heart. I'm not aware of any mandates or ordinances set down by Tiberius this week where all of a sudden the procurator's wives govern the province, Damas? <laughs> I thought not. Pilate, you condemn that innocent man. Roman justice will be dealt a blow from which you will never recover! Enough! You go too far, Claire. And if this Galilean can even influence Caesar's daughter, he must be dangerous. Leave us. Now. Beware, my husband. If you condemn that Jesus, 
recorded throughout history that he suffered under Pontius Pilate. fantasies. Yes, sir. Samaritis, you are a slave, are you not? Yes, sir. Yes. Isn't the price of a slave in Jerusalem these days, a common slave, 30 pieces of silver? Lucius Gaius Suetonius Devius, Tribune of Tribunes, Legate of Legates, Legionnaire of Legionnaires, Pilate's aid in my absence. And ever your servant. <laughs> did I or did I not hear correctly that this carpenter's son from Galilee who feigns himself, and I can barely bring myself to say it, the son of God, that he was handed over to the members of the Sanhedrin by one of his own for the price of a common slave? Yes, Excellency, this is true. <laughs> I must say, as out of control as things appear to be, I couldn't have planned it better myself. But now Jesus goes to the cross, though I found no fault in him, and Barabbas goes to kill more of my officers. How many of them are not here tonight, the Pharisees? They're dead! And you were close to some of them. You were on the stone pavement. I forget what the Jews call it. Jabatha. When I said, shall I crucify your king, to which they retorted, there is no king but Caesar. Ah! Same Jews, when I put emblems of Caesar in their temple, they reported me. I said, see to it yourselves. I wash my hands of the blood of this innocent man. You know what they said to me, Zemonides? They said his blood be on us. Gentlemen, we must ask ourselves the question. I fear that the fate of the empire hinges on our reply. What if this Jesus is? Who he says he is? Rome's days are numbered. My days are numbered. Century, show these people what happened to those who defy the authority of Rome. On your feet, this way, quickly. Dennis, send a dispatch immediately to his eminence, the governor of Syria, alias Lamia, requesting that he send the legion stationed there post haste to Jerusalem. Tell him I'm very well aware of the three days march, but that we need the power of the legion to crush this zealot revolt once and for all. The two cohorts I have here obviously are un insufficient for the task. Send out the dispatch by the eastern gate. The zealots are taking too keen an interest in our whereabouts on the Damascus gate. Two decoys before sending out the dispatch. No fanfare, no pre-announcements, not even a drum. No phalanxes, no long spears, short swords only. Have two men stationed 20 paces apart on the ridge, four in the ravine. And tell him that his old friend Pilate will not forget this gesture. I will have order restored in the city by the end of the week. Is that understood? 